Hello, this is Candace West, and I'm going to show you how to create a quilting line stencil in the Brother Scan and Cut Canvas. First, we're just going to take a shape, and we'll just take a shape out of the basic shapes. And for this exercise, we'll choose something simple, this one. First, it's a single line, so we need to create a double line to provide a channel for our marker to run through. So with the shape selected, we'll hit Edit, Create Offset Line, and we're going to create one that's as small as we can get. I'm going to make it an inward line, leave as is the original line, and I want it to bevel. So click OK. So now we have a double line. Next we want to grab a rectangle and we want to size it really, really small. I think that's probably good enough. And then move it, grab it, move it to where we're working. I want to rotate this rectangle. I want to make sure the rectangle is in the front of the layers. So with it selected, edit, order, bring to front, grab my little rectangle, and lay it over the double lines. Let me zoom in so you can see what I've done. Over the double lines. Now I'm going to choose it and the star shape, both of them, because there's two lines. We go edit, process overlap, subtract. And now you've got the little break in the line to create the stencil. You have to continue to repeat this process over and over again until you have enough breaks. So it might be a good idea to do a copy-paste of your little rectangle so you'll have one available. So here I got it again. I just need to move it and I have found that you need to check every time to make sure it is in the front of the layer. We'll put it someplace here and then we'll choose both. Now you only have to choose it once because when you made this break, this becomes a joined object. So edit, process overlap, subtract, we have our another break. Paste, bring this guy over, and you can do a couple of them at the same time. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to do this guy here, we'll paste another one. here. I want to make sure that they are on the front layer. I can choose them both by holding down my shift key, choose the star, edit, subtract. And you just keep going all the way around your star till you have enough breaks in it that will allow the stencil to hold together so you can trace it. In the end, you can create something that looks like this. So I said you just keep subtracting the little rectangle and eventually you'll end up with a stencil that you can use for quilting lines. Now you may want to add a frame around it too. So let's just pick a, how about a rounded square. I'll put it around my star. So when we cut out the stencil material, we have our negative space. I'm going to go around the star. I want 
want to align them. So we go Edit, Align, Center, Edit, Align, Center. So we've got it centered. Now this is what we're going to save as a file. We've got our quilting line stencil here and we've got an outer cut line to hold the shape together. So we'll save this or export it as our FCM download. Download to our PC. I'm just going to save it here. Save. Now you can load it on a USB stick and cut it on your machine.